Hello, podcast listeners. If you're like me, you want to hear the full story of what happens to Mars Patel and his friends. Find out how the story unfolds, as well as the gripping conclusion with Pinna. What's Pinna? Well, it's the only place to stream new episodes of Mars Patel Season 3, hear all of Season 2, as well as tons of other awesome podcasts, music, and audiobooks. Find your next favorite audio show on Pinna. That's P-I-N-N-A. Try Pinna free for 30 days by visiting the App Store today. Hey there, it's Chris Terry, one of the co-creators of Mars Patel. We're so excited to bring you the amazing conclusion of the Mars Patel story. And we wanted to let you know that Season 3 would not have been made without the support of our friends at Pinna. So please, if you want to stream the entire season, head over to Pinna.fm and start listening today. If you'd like to own a piece of the show forever, we've made the entire series available on an amazing box set of CDs. You can buy the entire series or just Season 3 by itself. Check the show notes for details or visit MarsPatel.com. We hope you enjoy the thrilling conclusion of Mars Patel, and thank you so much for sticking with us. And now, on with the show. Hello, podcast listeners. Oliver Pruitt here. Tired of listening to Mars Patel over the internet? Well, now you don't have to. You can buy the entire CD set of seasons one, two, and three. The merchandise shop is open at MarsPatel.com. T-shirts, mugs, we accept Martian money. Uh, actually, I don't know. Hmm? What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, actually, we don't accept Martian money. We accept Earth money. Boring! Go to MarsPatel.com. You can listen to me forever. Hello, kids. Welcome back. It's Oliver Pruitt. Remember me? Today, I'm going to drop you into a place you'd never want to be. The back of a police car. Where our friend Mars Patel finds himself right now. I've never been in the back of a police car before. Have you? Been in the back? Not that you would, I guess, since you sit up there in the front, but... Hello? Can you hear me through the glass? Am I under arrest? 323 to 584. You ever been out this way, Mercury? Adam Young, 1955. Actually, it's Mars. It's nice. Quiet. Some people might call it lonely. Especially in the dark. But I like that. When you're out here in the woods, nobody bothers you. Nobody playing Taylor Swifty too loud on their car stereo. Or letting their yappy dog leave a pile on your lawn. And you never have to worry that when you go on vacation, some delinquents are gonna break into your house and destroy their family heirlooms. JP had no idea that that statue You is... and your friends. You break into a house, you might just find yourself on the wrong end of a SWAT team. Good news is I'm in charge, and I'm someone who shows restraint. Can I have my phone back? You know what restraint is, Jupiter? Adam Young, 1955. I remember being 11. My friends and I used to goof off. The difference was, there were consequences. You skip school, enter someone's house without permission, consequences. But your generation? Consequences are a joke to you guys. You should hear some of the calls I answer. Kids go missing all the time. Especially kids like you and your friends. Outsiders. Misfits. You're practically invisible, Manu. How do you know my real name is Manu? No one calls me Manu. I told the officer my name was Mars. Do you know something? About Jonas and Aurora? Where are my friends? Get out. What? Here? It's like a mile from my house. Like I said, kid. Consequences. Mars. (laughs) 
cars. Stop tapping your foot, please. Principal Fagan, thank you for seeing us this morning. I just wanted to say how sorry Mars is for what he did. It was all a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Hmm. Others might call it a felony. Tell her, Mars. Tell her you're sorry. We were looking for Jonas. He disappeared during the code red like a roar disappeared. You know, Mars, those sound like excuses, not apologies. Mars, apologize. Apologize for trying to find my friends? Manu! Mrs. Patel, thanks to me, H.G. Wells Middle School has the highest gift scores of any school in the Northwest, if not the country. We make winners here. The kind of students who might one day be invited to Pruitt Prep itself. So when I get a phone call from the police about not one, but four of my students, I think to myself, Self, I don't want those students in my school. He'll learn from his bad decision. Right, Mars? Right? Right. Well, I don't know. It seems to me it was more than a bad decision. It was criminal. I honestly don't know what to do. What do I involve? Social services? Expulsion? What? Give him extra schoolwork. Let him clean classrooms. Separate Mars from those other five children. It's three. It's only three. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Jonas and Aurora are missing. That actually sounds like a very reasonable arrangement. That's not fair. Those are my friends. Manu. May I go back to class now? I'm sorry, Mars. You may not. Detention? I'm sending you home today, Mr. Patel. So I'm suspended. Well, I'd like to call it a day of reflection. So in other words, suspended. Unless you'd like a whole week of it. He'll see you tomorrow. Mars, let's go to the car. How could you do that? Caddy and JP and Toothpick. Those are my best friends, the only ones I have left. Oh, I don't know what it's like to have friends. You're right. Because I don't have time for friends. Because I'm too busy keeping two jobs providing a good life for you. I'm sorry, Mama G. Maybe the West Coast is too fast for us. Maybe we should go live with my cousin in Cleveland. Mom, I said I'm sorry. Be more than sorry. You have to stop this. But don't interrupt. (sighs) I understand it's hard for you to have people leave after what your father did to us. But you can't do this anymore, Manu. We can't do this anymore. Here is your phone back. I'm trusting you to only use it to reach me at work. No texting your friends. No more trying to reach Aurora. Promise me. I promise. Okay, grab your backpack and meet me out front. I'm pulling the car around. Caddy Patrick? Hey, Caddy! Over here! Uh, I have to go, Mars. My mom and I are meeting the principal. Are you okay? Sure. Because I was worried when I didn't hear for you after the cops separated us. I, I really have to go. Um, yeah, sure. I have to go, too. See you around? I I don't think so. Mars! Mars! Go back to PE, Toothpick. My mom's waiting for me. I'll walk with you. That's not what I... Are we speedwalking here? If so, I should stretch my calves. You really can't talk now, okay? Did you look over the list I sent of possible anagrams for Jonas's text message? I said I can't talk about this. I searched all night for ad masters, but it was just a bunch of workout videos. Do you want a flat stomach? Do you long for those six-pack abs? I did 473 crunches. Then I realized I was probably on the wrong track. Now it hurts to laugh and cough and breathe. But I've compiled a list of 80 phrases. All of the words are combinations of the letters in ad masters. Get it? I color-coordinated it from most likely to least likely, based on frequency of use, connection to Jonas, and... My mom's waiting in the parking lot, too. <sighs> Rama Brats. I like Rama Brats as a clue to finding them. Although Jonas didn't take yoga. Unless you count PE. Do you count PE? I don't... You don't know? Mars Patel always knows. No, I don't... I don't always know. Look at the list. You knew Jonas better than I did. He got mad at me a lot, especially when I repeat myself. He'd raise his voice. Could you show your whole pick? My mom said that Jonas wasn't mad at me. He was frustrated. But you never get frustrated, Mars. I'm just trying to get to my locker. I thought you were meeting your mom. I am, but I forgot my... Why does it matter? We can't be seen talking. But I need your help to solve this. One of these is going to lead us to Jonas and Aurora. I tried to text you, but you didn't respond. Why don't you write me back? You always... I said you've got to stop. Stop? Stop what? Trying to find Aurora and Jonas? Why? I got suspended today, and if I keep it up, I'm going to be expelled. We all will. Caddy isn't talking to me. 
That cop made it sound like we would disappear too. I can't lose anybody else. I don't know what else to do except stop. We have to stay away from each other. That's what my parents said too. Sometimes they don't understand you, son. We understand him. We talked to the counselor. Remember? Mars, if you just look at the list... What's wrong with you? Can't you understand what I'm saying? Leave me alone! Okay, Mars. I'll go now. Pig. Oh. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to get mad. Frustrated. You're frustrated with me. No, no. I'm frustrated with myself. And with Aurora and Jonas for being gone. Then we have to find them, right? We could all get in a buttload of trouble. Isn't that what friends are supposed to do for each other? I don't know anymore. I've got to go. I'm not supposed to be talking to you, so don't tell anyone, okay? It's been a bad, bad 24 hours. The whole breaking into Jonas' house thing didn't go so well. We got caught, and now I'm stuck in my apartment, feeling like a giant virus to everyone I care about. But all I really want is to go out and find you. It's just... I don't know what else to do. If I keep this up, I'm going to get kicked out of school. Maybe others will, too. I'm sorry. This is probably going to be my last recording. JP? Open the window, Patel. What are you doing in the fire escape? Oh, are those chips? Bring them over here. They're supposed to be taking an algebra test. Dude, if they can't find X by now, they're never going to find it. JP, you got to go back to school before you get caught. Dude, it was hard enough sneaking out. Now you want me to sneak back in? Is that your soda over there? You want to just come in? I thought you'd never ask. Look at you. You're a mess. Did any of the chips end up in your mouth? I'm so sorry about last night. What did your parents say when the cops brought you back? That I'm grounded for a month, blah, 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 you know. Honestly, they really just seemed more annoyed that I'd be hanging around at home more. You shouldn't be here. My mom made all these promises to Fagin about keeping me away from you guys. (laughs) Wait a minute. She thinks we're the bad influences? She's met you, right? I just don't want to get you into any more trouble. Breaking into Jonas' house is probably the dumbest idea I've ever had. I don't know. How about the time we chained ourselves to Miss Wellington's desk to protest pop quizzes, and she had us loaded into a cart and wheeled out by the dumpsters? Or when you decided that the fifth grade play was offensive and convinced all of us to stand up there and recite the words from Everybody Poops? Or when we hid in Principal Fagan's car with marshmallows and then you- Okay, okay. I've had a lot of dumb ideas. Of course, we're probably the real dumb ones for always following you. You really believe that? Nah. If I did, why would I keep going all in on your crazy plan? I don't know. What are you even doing here? I told you, I'm blowing off algebra. No, I mean for real. You really want to know? Why not? First day of third grade. That butt crack Joey Lupo sees me walking in with my Seahawks hoodie and my baggy shorts. He starts calling me boy girl. Hey boy girl, which bathroom are you going to use? I try to walk by, but he grabs me by the hood and snaps my neck back. I get furious. Like I do, I ball up my fists like I'm going to knock his braces out. Only I know if I crack him in the face, it's only going to make people more freaked out. Because what normal girl throws down like that? Still, he needs to get jacked. So I'm ready to go. But just before I hit the loser... I stick my finger down my throat and I barf all over you. Mac and cheese and fruit punch. Nasty. Now that was the dumbest thing that I ever did. Lupo ran like I was covered in acid. I had to throw out the hoodie. But Lupo, he never messed with me again. So yeah, your plans are usually mac and cheese, fruit punch, barf disaster. But if I went missing, there's nobody else in the world I'd want looking for me. You got a message. Probably my mom warning me not to use my... What... What does it say? What's the matter? It's from the world. We 
always leave you on a cliffhanger. So fun! Did you enjoy today's episode? I certainly did. And if you'd like to hear more, you can subscribe to The Unexplainable Disappearance of Mars Patel on iTunes. Then, your electronic device can receive the RSS feed, and whatever's left over will feed to the robotic chickens. <laughs> That's a joke. Robotic chickens use a different technology entirely. Kids, be sure to tell your friends about the podcast and visit our website, pruittprep.com. Until next time, to the stars. Hey there, it's Chris Terry. Are you a fan of the shows we make here at Gen Z Media? If so, then head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash gzm shows and become a Gen Z superfan. For only $5 a month, you get access to shows we're working on months before they're released, behind-the-scenes interviews with producers and cast members, scripts for Six Minutes, Mars Patel, and so much more. It's a great way to show your support and get access to a ton of exclusive Gen Z content. Sign up at patreon.com slash gzm shows. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash gzm shows. And thanks for your support. Give me a Z. Best robot ever dot com. From PRX.